and welcome back to my base tour series. Uh, this is Scorched Earth. We start at, uh, oh, very hot, 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 at our little bunkhouse next to the Red Obelisk. This is for the Manicore fight. We have beds for everybody. A little bit of supplies. Let me change into my ghillie so I don't burn to death. All right, got our flags, some decorations from our successful fights. The back door is a gate so we can park the pig in here during fights. Between fights, we bring the pig out to, there's the store, lots of places to go. I've since replaced uh, the stone parts with adobe because it gets too hot in here. But anyway, to go to the obelisk and get my dragon so I can take it to my base. Check around, make sure there's no nasties. See, it's just a little bunkhouse. We also have these uh, spike walls around the, the drop because when we put the dragons and stuff in, it's a nuisance to have to fight off the wildlife when we're trying to go into a boss arena so that's just that and it also protects us when we come do transfers uh, onto skirt stars so let's let me get my dragon this is flash the only thing he does is go fast you've seen him before he's not good for fighting too much he's not my good dragon but he's he's pretty Okay, my base is at this, almost literally at the center of this map. It qualified because it had a water source. It had access to this mountain behind it for metal, obsidian, crystals. There's the zippers, green tower to the right, the north tower, or the blue tower. There's a little creek, it's my water source. And this is where I live on this huge plateau. This is where I get my, on this end is where I have all my uh, resources, wood and stone. There's a little gate to protect the ramp up to this area. So I never have to worry, not really, about creatures coming. Let me turn around, there we go. There's the ramp up, and then there's this bridge that goes to my base. It's like a little landing strip. These trees light up at night, so you can see where the base is in case it's stormy or foggy or whatever. I planted that tree and these trees to hide structures. To the right is my taming pen. Straight ahead is my garage for my big guys. You'll notice inside I have uh, tons of colorful pets. These are going to be distributed to different places. But right now they're guarding the, uh, the wyverns that stay on passive so they don't go flying off. I have an assortment of vultures and carnos and all kinds of stuff. And I really like them. I put, uh, because this thing has to be tall so they can fly in, I put a little stair-steppy thing on the right-hand side so I could stack the animals a little bit better. We have sheep and saber-tooths, all kinds of stuff. There's a gate on both ends. Here's my vultures. Let's go. There's a, a fancy pig. That one's going to be moved. Then I have a set of rings here. We go up to the second floor. This is where the prime prize wyverns are kept. These are my two, two babies. Brim on the left is a fire wyvern. And there's Stormy, who is my lightning wyvern. 
and they are top of the line. They were raised and printed by me. It's a level 200. She's got a few more levels she can go through. Brim is a 204. She's got a few more levels she can go through too. And uh, yeah. They're both excellent. Hi Melly and uh, yeah, I enjoy riding both of them equally. But I keep them here because uh, mostly this is where they're needed the most. This is the base to the right, the main base. Down below is a mini garage where I keep my service pets. To the left is the taming pen. Let's fly down. So you can get an idea. It's, it's not a huge base. Here's the taming pen. It's specifically designed by me. You have doors on either end. Nothing in the back. And then um, you have a gate so you can get them out. The windows are so you can access any angle that you need to shoot or so it they don't get uh, the house when you have uh, passive tames. Up here, this ramp goes all the way around and places to shoot. And then you have two boxes here that uh, hold all the narcotics and taming things you might need, bolas or You know, crossbow stuff like that. Okay. And it functions very well. And you can land a dragon in there. If you're carrying something, you just land the dragon in there and then go out. This is a little, um, actually, it's meant for building. But, you know, you can put stuff in there if you want to. I don't have anything at the moment. This is the main yard where I land. That's my main base. The ramp up to it has uh, horses underneath. I'll show you that in a second. This is a little outbuilding, and I'm. It's very clever of me, I think. A doorless place that you never have to worry about anything bothering them. Oops. Hello. This is where I keep my thorny dragons, my anklos. Um. And I keep my Jaboas through here. Just some of my service animals. It's not all of them, but it's some. It's the bigger ones. And then I have the raptors here to protect them. They're on neutral. In case something gets in here, they'll tear it up. <laughs> all right. This is the one and only S plus trough. It's the only one I need that I need to feed out of. I have a greenhouse so I can go in and pull the berries to feed from. So I don't need actually need to have a pet that can do berries here, which is great. This, this makes uh, feeding simple, as simple as you can imagine. Okay. This is a back door. Um, it's where I keep my Morella tops. Well, we'll be moving the two color ones to the island later because I'm setting up a color rainbow type uh, building. It'll be really pretty. So they're here stored. And this goes to there. It's kind of a little escape place and um, they're secure under a, the roof. But the entrance is hidden. It's really difficult to see. Okay, under the ramp are my horses. A little decorative in here. Don't have to worry too much. I've got a lot of horses. <laughs> some beautiful ones. A lot. Of, some of the colored ones will be moved to the island also. So they're just being stored here temporarily. Okay. 
This is a nice secure area. Nothing bothers them here either. And there's a, a wolf. A fancy wolf. They'll all be going. Not all, just the colored ones. And this is under the house. There's also a area back here. Kind of a it's access to the back of the house. A little garden area. A little overlook. This goes all the way around the house. Kinda sorta. <laughs> this is uh where the plumbing is. It's kind of unfinished. I don't know. I'm kind of like it. I don't really come back here that much, so I don't worry about it. Can't actually see it. All right. But it gives me access to some areas. All right. In case I need to go in and come out again. All right. Let's go see the main base. Let me take this ramp up. It's big enough for a wyvern or any other animal. In fact, it's a landing pad for the wyverns to unload them. Um, this is to a drop. The drop falls down on that peak, and if I want to catch it without taking a rod, I can do that. All these little areas are kind of decorative, architectural. They have ladders so you can get back up in case you want to go there. Give you some detail. Right now next to this table, I don't have it now, but there is a grinder that I keep here also. I have boxes for all the bases. That's my smart head. <laughs> I thought it was funny. This is under the house where the plumbing is. Little areas here. You can get you a drink of water if you need them. I like the sound of the water. Again, this is to have access under the house. Okay. Now you have a ramp that goes into the top area. You have an entrance here. This is the egg collector and a box below it in case you accidentally take something out because you can't put them back in. This uh, is set to collect eggs and it also collects poop and put it into the dung beetles which are in the greenhouse area. And I'll show you how I did that in a minute. That's Helga. Her purpose is to produce poop when I need it for the fertilizer. All right, this is the front porch. My salts are, preserving salts are on the left. The ramp up to the right is to the main area where the other animals are. This is where my snake lays. He's my kind of pride and joy. I planted all these plants. Here's my welcome box where I keep a bench and a table for plants. There's two of them out here. This is a welcome box in case somebody comes and they need spares like picks and axes and stuff. I have leftovers there. Now I have two stories on this. This one is to the main floor. This is my storage area in the front. It carries everything I need. Then I have my forge and my smithy S plus table and a bookcase with engrams in it, which I never use, usually. And uh, pretty much uh, that's about all I need. Because I weed out the crap and just keep the top notch of everything. Alright, and straight ahead is... See my water supply over here are my dodos to produce eggs and this is where I keep my oil and gas. There's the water. This is my living room slash, I don't know, hall. <laughs> the table is just decorative really. It's for lighting actually and there's my chemistry bench. Here's my kitchen. 
There's my recipes and I keep um, a cook pot here. I don't know because some some events you can't get them any other way but I mainly use the crop pot. Here's the view out the front window. This is my favorite view of all my bases. I love this. I planted that tree also obviously. That's where I keep my little little stinkers in front of the fire. There's the cook preserving bin. Here's a little Harry Potter under the stairs where I keep my paints. This is a stair to up, up, up here. This is uh, one of stairs. There's two. This uh, was another nice view. I don't usually come up these stairs. There's a main stair right there that goes up. The work benches are on the right. The bed is on straight ahead. And then there's a climb up for the next level. And here I keep my kind of special, more special utility animals and my little dogs, my wolves. This is my newest area that I created. It's my deathbed or life bed, whatever you want to call it. And my box is over there with my stuff in it. Now this is how the greenhouse works. It's another benches and stuff, tables, um, uh, organic polymer boxes, my views, lots of light come in. Very pleased with it. Okay, this is my greenhouse. I'm very proud of it. Let's start from the bottom floor. Inside are th three dung beetles. I have two of every berry, one of every um, vegetable, except for carrots, which I have two of. And this is how it works. The, see, the glass goes all the way to the top, so that's how the greenhouse works. And it works great. And that's to Puff Puff. We've been in there. All right, come back out. It's my favorite room. I love the way it turned out. All right, let's go upstairs. And then we'll climb up. This is uh, for another area. Up here is where um, I just place trophies, utilities, the gun turret. There's one in the back and one in the front. That's all I need. This goes to the backup generator. There's also a windmill, both of which I do not need because on the very top of the house is a solar panel and it it works fine but I left all this just in case you never know you might need a backup that's the gun turret that's how you get down this is looking from the top In order to do the bullets here, you climb up the ladder and you can fill them up. Trophies. Okay, inside there's two doors. One goes back downstairs. You just can drop in. You don't have to climb down. And here is another storage area. I keep two flyers in here. In case I need some rescue birds. Both the um, front and back have doors to climb in. As you can see, there's also a main one in case you want to put something up here. And there's another bed up there, just in case. 
And there's also access from that door. Because at one time I used this as a timing pan. But it's not necessary anymore, so I just converted it to an Avery. But you also use this to climb up to the top. This is the top of the building. Up here I keep my trophies. They also serve as lights and beacons or whatever. I tweak and change the bases when I feel like it. Um, if there's a necessity for making it more efficient. And to get back down, okay, get up in here. Just go out here and you can service the the turret. The windmill stayed because I think it's cool. Wind turbine, I should say. This protects the back of the house. And there's another one that protects the front of the house. And the sides. So They've killed a couple of uh, wild wyverns coming through. And you just take this door and you land back downstairs. It's extremely, this is an air conditioner and I catch it here. And this is what the upper floor looks like. And this is the main door to the house. And animals, it's, it's really easy to take animals in and out and to land on the roof to unload. It's very efficient. This table out front is where it's my main download. Plenty of room. And I just pull off. And that about does it. There's enough room to park four wyverns in here and without any trouble at all. So I think I'll take uh, Stormy out for a little spin. See how easy it is to use the barrage. Open the door. <laughs> and we're free. So, I hope you enjoyed this base tour. There's a lot of wild animals on this side for hunting. And I like it. Or taming. And that'll be all for my base tour. Here on Scorched Earth. One of my favorite maps. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye.